Hey everybody, thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Patrick. I am a husband, a dad, a creative, and a human living in New York City. And on this channel, we talk about all of it. And today, we're getting into tripods. Now, why are we talking about tripods? Well, I recently decided to film a vlog-style video that showed you just a week in my life, which, in my opinion, is kind of interesting because I've got a lot of different jobs. I own my own tech support company. I also am a music director or a worship pastor at a church where I have lots of different responsibilities. I also have a boss wife who works full time and is really, really respected in her field. And I have three kids ages one, 10, and 14. So this makes my life kind of hectic, but also kind of amazing. I'm so thankful for how I get to live and who I get to do life with. Now, on top of all of that, I also live in New York City. So if I'm going to do that vlog video throughout New York City showing my life, I have to walk the city with a tripod. So I thought we would go through a video today where we're talking about the best mini tripod I have found. Because guys, I have purchased many different mini tripods over the years, but I have found the holy grail that you are going to love. So stay with me. Now, you're gonna see two tripods from Joby today. Now, Joby was made famous, in my opinion, by Casey Neistat. If you watch his vlogs, you see him moving throughout the city with a more professional version of the Bendy tripod. You can connect a GoPro to it, you can connect a light to it, you can connect a microphone to it, or a camera. And these legs form however you want. A lot of times there's also a, a level on the back here so you can see that your camera is level. Or you can attach this to any surface or pole or whatever uh, that you want. It's a great little tripod, but here's the problem. This happens on every single Joby tripod. These legs are great for a while. And I also noticed that as I'm moving throughout the city, no matter how tight I make this little ball head here, as I'm holding my camera in front of me, you still hear like a tick, 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 jiggle. Tick, 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 tick. My money don't jiggle, jiggle, it falls. Tick, 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 tick. Jiggle coming through the microphone because it's never going to be perfectly solid. So I think this is a great tripod to start off with. It's, it's not expensive, it's really easy to use, it's pretty straightforward, but in the long run, it's not going to get the job done for you. So Joby, you're done. Now before I get to my next tripod, I wanna throw out an honorable mention here because this, this is not a tripod. But if you have a GoPro or a point and shoot camera, I think a clamp like this is a must to buy because I can throw this thing uh, so quickly without having to adjust any legs anywhere. And again, attach a, a light to it, a GoPro, um, a point and shoot camera, or probably a smaller, uh, more high-end, but smaller version of a high-end camera and be shooting wherever I want to. This can fit on cars, boats, guitars, almost anything you want. So while it's not a tripod, and it's not the one I would use every single day, I would suggest that you get one of these bendy arms out there. And now you're gonna wanna go for the GoPro version, right? Which is probably you know, 40 or 50 bucks, but you can also find, this one's made by Suptig, S-U-P-T-I-G. It's never broken, it always works, and it was probably like 20 bucks. So while it's not a tripod, you definitely should go out and get this. Honorable mention. Next tripod, once again made by Joby. Now this is once again a tripod that I purchased to use with my GoPro because I used to just shoot with my phone and GoPros. And if you're just starting out a YouTube channel or a vlog or something like that, nothing wrong with that at all. You get no shade from me. Those devices shoot in high definition and a lot of people when they start shooting video, they think that they need to go out and buy a great camera first. No, start with your phone. You're gonna get 4K or 1080p video and it's going to look great. But we're not here to talk about cameras. We are here to talk about tripods. Now, this is not like the bendy arm. This is not like the gorilla pod that has the bendy legs. This truly has legs that pop out and form a full tripod. It's going to be uh, uh, extendable as well. I can turn here and pull up. And as you can see, it gets, you know, pretty long. Ball head at the top which doesn't have that GoPro attachment to it. It really uh, it really just does have the screw that will fit standard into, bo into the bottom of almost any camera, which you can adapt to fit a GoPro or something like that. And you've got not only a little selfie stick here, but a tripod as well. Here's the problem. Is this fully extended? I don't... 
Ah-ha-ha! There we go. Oh, it won't even fit in the frame. Here's the problem with this tripod. It's not sturdy. Sturdy for a GoPro? Sure. But once you get phone and beyond in weight, this thing will topple over. Also, you know what I don't like about uh, this tripod? If I put the legs all the way down and tighten it, look how compact it is. Isn't that amazing? But if I pull the tripod legs out, you can't stand it up. So to have it always ready to go just to pull out of your bag and set on a table, you actually have to extend the bottom legs just a bit so that when you extend the tripod legs, it doesn't touch the table and stop them from balancing your tripod. So I think that's a huge design flaw. I've used this for years. It's been really great for me. That's something I can kind of get over, but it's still pretty frustrating that they didn't, that they just kind of overlooked that in the design process. But once again, pretty good tripod, not my favorite. I haven't touched this in a while since I've gotten my Sony V, Sony ZV-E10 because I'm about to show you the holy grail of mini tripods. Now, before I show you my favorite tripod, I wanna talk about something that I'm not featuring in this video. Every time you see someone talk about mini tripods, they always bring up the smallest version of the Manfrotto tripods. I don't remember its name, but three little plastic legs, a button that pushes uh, in that allows you to adjust the ball head, you let go and that ball locks in. Everyone loves this tripod, I hated it. Hated it. I used it for just a couple of weeks with just my phone and a GoPro. And eventually that ball was able to move without the button even being pressed, thus making it useless. I'd put a camera on top of the tripod, boom, set it on a desk and it would just fall right over. Useless, that's not what a tripod is supposed to do. It's literally the opposite of what a tripod is supposed to do. But if you're looking for something like that, Look at Small Rig. Small Rig makes a bunch of camera accessories that everybody loves. And they make a small tabletop tripod that has legs and a ball head that you can tighten and loosen to your desire. It's gonna last way longer. It's made out of better materials, metal versus plastic. So it's gonna last way longer, be really durable and feel way better in your hand. If you're looking at a mini tripod like that, which I don't have in front of me because it just angers me to look at the thing, don't get the Manfrotto, in my opinion. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Go ahead and get the small rig version of this mini tripod. You will thank me. Now it's time to talk about my favorite tripod. This is the setup I have been using for the past couple of weeks and it has not failed me yet. And I see myself using it for a really long time. This tripod is made by a company that I've never heard of. A-O-K-A, -A. Aoka maybe? It's a titanium or aluminum, some sort of a metal tripod that is a little bit heavier than some of these other guys, but it feels sturdy in your hand. Doesn't feel like it's going to break. It comes with a ball head attachment, but I have added a Ulanzi clip system attachment to this. Let me show you how this works. This clip fits onto the bottom standard screw hole of any camera. Screw, screw, screw. Bring it over here clip it onto the tripod. If I wanna remove it, push the button, pull it right off. This allows me just to whoop, grab my camera, whoop, 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 there it is. Grab my camera at any time if I wanna take it off of this tripod. So I love adding this little Ulanzi ball head to it, but you're probably thinking to yourself, all of those other tripods were, you know, all in one. You're adding all these parts, it's gotta get expensive. Well, the way I found this tripod is I saw it made by GVM. Now GVM's a company that makes um, I think their GVM stands for good video merchandise or something, I, I don't know. But they make lights, they make clamps, they make little tripods like this. And their version of this tripod was about 150 bucks. But Aoka's version is identical to the GVM and it costs about 80 bucks. So 80 bucks versus this ball system, which is like maybe 30 bucks or so, we're still way under the GVM price for this tripod. We've got really sturdy legs that extend and stop. And you'll notice right here, you can actually tighten or loosen these screws to make the legs tighter or more loose, more manageable. Also, if I push this all the way in, 
and I pull out these little bluish purplish tabs, the tripod legs go all the way down. Maybe you're hiking and you've got like some like rocks where it's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to put the tripod like that. So you need to lay it flat on a surface. You can do that. The first thing you notice when you go hiking is it's a mistake. I move the legs back in, push the purplish bluish tabs in and boom, they're back to stopping at that normal tripod uh, height. Speaking of height, I unscrew. Tighten these legs, and in less than five or six seconds, I've got a tripod that's actually much taller. So if I'm at a table like this and I wanna be eye level with the camera, I can do that. I don't have to always hold it like this. Now, normally I keep the legs screwed in all the way because I'm normally just holding this and setting it on a table in front of me or something, and I don't need it to be this high, but what if you want even more height than this? Well, watch this. So this Aoka tripod also comes with one more pole extension that you can put on the top of this guy. And it's not just one singular pole. It goes even higher. Oh my gosh, we're out of frame. <laughs> it goes even higher, isn't that great? So what you have in this Aoka tripod is much more than a selfie stick. You have a fully customizable tripod that you can do some upkeep on yourself by tightening and loosening these screws. You can fully flatten it. You can extend it even further with this little pole. And it's much cheaper than some of the, you know, more well-known companies out there that are making something super similar. I've used this for a couple of weeks. It has never failed me. I absolutely love it. So if you're looking for your next mini tripod just to fit right into your bag, look, look how small that is. They do make a bigger version, by the way. But if you're looking for a little tripod that can fit in your bag and can go anywhere with you, look no further. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to all of these tripods, but this, this my friends, is my favorite. So go ahead and tell me what you think. Have you tried this out? Maybe you have the GVM version. Maybe you have more questions about this tripod or a tripod that we didn't talk about today. Let me know down in the comments and then do all the other YouTube things. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one.